Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to use a double-edged safety razor. Sorry for the video angle on everything. Um, so the keys that you're going to need is a mug and a shaving brush for the shaving soap and a double-edged safety razor. Alright, so the first thing I do is I'll get warm to hot water, not boiling hot water. I have my shaving puck in there. Fill it up and then put my shaving brush under some water too. And just let that soak in there. So I'll usually do that. So I just let it sit in here and let it soak. I'll usually do that while I brush my teeth and stuff. But instead of that, what I'll do is actually talk through some things. So there's different types of shaving uh, creams and soap you can use. So I have a shaving soap puck, which um, I like the best. Um, there's shave butter that people make that you actually just wet your face and you rub on your face. Um, and then you rub it into your face. I don't like that as much. And then there's shave cream, which you can actually, instead of doing what I'll show you with the safe soap, is actually just put this on your brush and swirl it up. I have not tried something like that before. All right, usually you wanna do this after you've showered so that this is soft or your face is washed or whatever. Next thing is you wanna make sure that I typically every three times will change the razor uh, inside of here. Just depends on how often you wanna do it. Um, they're pretty cheap so you can do it quite often. What you'll do is you open it up, spin it on the bottom, take out the blade, Usually you'll have something wrapped in, or it'll have some sort of wax wrapping around it. So you take that out, drop that in. I don't think there's a specific way that it goes, and then tighten it down. It's a butterfly stop. And then what I do is I'll take this one, put it back in the plastic that the new one came in, and throw that away so nobody gets cut. One of the couple of things that we're going to talk about during the shaving is... Um, angle and what you do with it. So there's two sides to each one of these razors. Obviously it's double-edged. Um, the key that you're going to want to know is that you want to do it light. So I'm sure with your regular razors you're used to kind of pushing down. You don't want to do that because that one of two things. Um, it'll give you a bad shave because what happens is when you push it down you're actually creating a valley in the skin so it's not going flat against it. The other thing you want to do is actually go at an angle. So if you went straight on, what that's going to do is actually give you razor burn. You want to do it light and at an angle. Depends on the angle for what you want. Typically, if you just rest it to this top part against your skin, it works just fine, but you want to practice with it. Um, so with this, it does take a little bit of learning. So you see the old videos of people with the paper, uh, a toilet paper on their face because they've nicked their skin. Typically that's what happens with these or a safety razor. So it takes practice. One thing that um, I was told to do that worked well is like find a place on your skin or your hands to practice with it so you can kind of get the feel for it. Um, but it does take a little practice. So what I would do recommend doing is um, learning in certain parts and then adding them. So for example, learn from just going down the side here for a little bit and then switch to your other razor. And then wherever you, you know, get more comfortable. And then do the last part at the end. Um, it's got enough weight on it that you just rest it on there as you go down. So you just put it on there and go. And you want to go a little at a time. And I'll show you this when I actually start shaving, but since we're letting the soap and the brush warm up, talking through this right now. So you'll do that. Another thing that's good to do is give it a couple of days of growth on your beard so you know where all the grain is um, growing. Typically people think, oh, it all grows straight down, but that's not true. In my case, the sides grow straight down. These typically kind of grow out to the side. And then right here is where it starts going uh, almost to the side and then down here is completely sideways, but on this side, it actually grows straight down. So get to know your face and your skin and your uh, the way your hair grows. So that's about enough time for the shaving brush and everything to get uh, wet and soak up some of the heat and stuff. So once you do that, dump out pretty much all the water. You want to leave just a little bit left. And this thing's going to be soaking wet. You see how much water came down? 
just flick it lightly, just a little bit so that it's not dripping water. And when you do this, it's kind of an art form. So what you want to do is push it down enough that there's a little bit of friction, but don't push it all the way down. So what you're going to do is break these or get them in a big tangled mess. So you do that and you just want a bowl that's big enough that you can keep going around and around and you want to bump it up against the sides and it takes about 30 seconds for it to really get lathered up. Some people are really good at this. Um, I'm not as great and sometimes if it doesn't look like it's lathering you can add just a little bit more warm water on there to help the lather out. You don't want too much water or else it'll get soapy. But you do it kind of quickly and you just go around and around. There's different types, so this is just your regular, like, I guess, plastic or glass bowl. There's ceramic ones, there's all different types. What you want to do is just get a good lather going, like I said, about 30 seconds. Enough that you can kind of see it on there. You can see it's starting to build up in my bowl. Um, some people will do it on their face, I don't know how they do that. I like to get it going in here. So once you've done that, when you're first practicing, what's a good idea is just do a little bit of your face at a time so that way it doesn't dry out. But you want to go, you, again, you don't want to push all the way down. You want to just kind of enough that you're working it into your hairs and that um, you're not pushing too hard. So a good idea to do is, or what you should do is circles. It's not up and down. What you want to do is actually get it inside the fiber of the hairs and loosen those up. So what this is doing is just getting all around there and kind of removing some dead skin too. And I'll just do one side of my face while we're talking through it so it doesn't dry out. Another thing you don't want to do is get too high uh, amount of this stuff on your face because it's actually going to clog up your razor quicker. So that's good right there. So what you want to do, like I said, is light, a little bit of an angle, smooth, or don't, you know, drag it. So one of the things I learned when I first started doing this was um, that I was kind of tentative and just slowly doing it um, when really what I should be doing is moving fastly through it. But light, make sure to do light. Now when you get your line right here, the first thing that you want to do is, you know, you, you see people pull their skin back, especially when they do a straight raise, razor shave. Um, you don't want to do that to start with here because if you do that, you're actually going to bend your hairline here and then when you go back, it's going to look weird. So just start it wherever you want to start it. And just fast and light, like I said. Go a little bit. Now you don't have to, and what I've been playing with lately is trying to straighten out my face and doing like I do with my straight razor, like that. Because it only makes sense the flatter it is, the more you're going to get. So go a little bit and you'll start to see there will be, you know, gunk and stuff inside of there. Once you start seeing it gunk up, just switch around. And move on to the next side. And then you get a feel for, you know, how long you've gone. Just wash that out. Keep the hot water going. You want to wash all that gunk straight out because uh, otherwise you're still not going to get a shave going. And again, just keep going and going. Now initially what you're going to want to do is, you know, don't be afraid to touch up if you see a dry part. And if your brush feels like it's not getting very much stuff in there, like this one isn't now, just run some more hot water on the corner of it, just the corner. And swish it around back in here and that'll put what's called recharging your brush. So you don't have to do it off very much because it's already in there. And then you get a good lather going. And see, it's just, it's not one long stroke. You're not even supposed to do that with regular razors, but 
advertising shows you you're supposed to. Just short little strokes. And I haven't shaved for a couple of days, so that's why I'm probably using a little bit more washing out than I normally do. But And so you see, like, I've gotten to where I'm so practiced at this that once I go down, I can actually go sideways on some of these parts without putting on new stuff. I wouldn't recommend that. I don't think it's probably even a good idea for me to do. Um, but this stuff is so sharp and such a good shave that there's really no better way to shave. And once you get used to it, you can play around with it. So, you know, there's been times where I've just thrown hot water on there and been able to shave real quick. So... What you want to do, I mean, this is a good shave right here. You'll notice it's probably a better shave than what you're used to once you get good at it. Um, so some people will go sideways then, like lather back up and go sideways, and then go against the grain. What I found for me that works is I just go down, re-lather, go back up. I don't do this sideways. Um, probably could if I wanted to, but I think it does it well enough so to go against the grain you want to remember that when you're doing this you're going against the grain so there's more of a chance of actually roughing up your skin by that I mean I'm just giving you razor burn or whatever this is a safety razor it's not like a straight razor where you can really cut yourself like I have with my straight razor um, so you just want to make sure to keep that angle going so that um, it's not sideways like that. That's what's your major risk is just skin rash. So. You, you know you'll do it right when it almost sounds like there's paper tearing as you go. Okay. Like I said, I'm only going to do half my face um, for right now, so this video isn't forever. Same thing on the other one. You just go. So then the last part of it all is cleanup, right? So you want to get your warm, not boiling hot, not I can't stand it hot water going. And you wash out all this soap residue that's in your cup. Some people actually have two cups, one to get started and another one to really lather up. So they don't waste so much saving soap. That's probably a smart idea. Um, so you just kind of wash it out uh, so there's not all that sodsy stuff. If you do have a bowl with a lid, you want to leave that lid off until it dries out um, so you don't get mold. Now your brush still has a lot of stuff on it, right? So here's an important part too, is you want to keep it that water hot and going and just wash it off. But like a paintbrush, you know, it seems like when you're doing it, there's no paint left. But once you go to wash it out, there's just tons of it. Same story here. So I'll start washing this off a little bit. And you see it looks like it's clean. But as you do that, there's just, and that looks gross, but uh, as you do that, there's just stuff inside of it. So when you squeeze it, you don't want to really squeeze it. Just light enough that you get that stuff out there and just keep washing it out. So now it's, you do that and there's no 
not going out, but like I said, don't squeeze down on it, just real light. Um, and then after that, this is pretty wet, so you want to cover it like that so you don't get stuff all over your mirror and just flick it a couple times to help the drying process. Now it's not completely dry, what you want to do is hang it upside down. So if you don't have a stand, they're pretty cheap um, to get them anywhere. So my stand that holds both of them, I got it from Amazon for like 10 bucks. So all you do is put that here, so set it in there for it to dry out upside down. Now this, uh, what I like to do with a razor is I will actually um, wash it out just to make sure there's nothing in there. And then I'll take a towel and wipe off the top so there's no residue in there. Just because I'm um, that way. And then you just put it, you know, on the other side here. And that's what holds it. So it's pretty easy to, once you get the hang of it, to learn how to do a straight razor. Feels a hundred times better than anything else. So what you can do is when you wash the rest of the soap off your face, you may feel there's a piece or two that you miss. Once you're good enough, you can just, with that hot water afterwards, you just run it and get that area. Me, I don't, I did it quick and I don't think I've got any parts that I'm gonna go back and do um, once I start wiping this stuff off my face. Now, because it's a closer shave than what you're normally used to, um, it's important to, you know, I have this shave, aftershave and bump preventer, um, shea moisture, tea tree, aftershave, herbal elixir, I get it from like Walgreens, and I put that on, and then I wash with cold water, to close up the pores, and then I'll just put on some like face lotion, because what you're used to shaving with is not taking on too much of the dead skin off. That's why it's not as close to a shave, but uh, you really want to take care of your face. So I hope this all makes sense, and if you have any questions, I guess let me know. Bye.